once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Join me in merry old England. I swear the rainy stereotype of England is a bit over-exaggerated. It's usually quite nice. I'm on my way to Cardiff, Wales, to pick up the best value Halo haul I've ever seen. Let's check it out. So you may be wondering to yourself, why have you come all the way to uh, the other side of the United Kingdom to pick up a Halo haul? Like, how can it be that good? Well, it is that good. Firstly, I really wanted to check out Cardiff Castle. It's uh, steeped in history, absolutely gorgeous. And Cardiff is also the home of Doctor Who, which you can check behind. Like, this is the home base of uh, Torchwood. It were like, <laughs> um, if you don't watch Doctor Who, you wouldn't understand. But uh, basically, all of Doctor Who was filmed in Cardiff. Uh, it's how like BBC Wales got its name. And it's pretty cool to be by some iconic places that we're in the filming of Torchwood and Doctor Who. All right, we're in game. Another good. Uh hunting store. And look what we found here. The Banshee Breakout and what? Hog Rally. 30 pounds is like 36 or 37 dollars. Pretty expensive, but it is important at this point. Second of all, this hall is awesome. I'm talking an elephant, phantom, broadsword, short sword. The list goes on. I don't even know because there's two buckets and I can't see what's inside. A red warthog, a spade, drop pods and figures. Like it's it's a really, really good deal. I got an expensive train, I got a hostel, I got food, and I made it down to the capital of Wales to see if I can really pull this off. And yeah, the main thing I'm worried about is pieces missing. A lot of these uh, pictures indicate that there's a lot of bits that have uh, fallen up but then there's two buckets that come with it that might also indicate that all the pieces are there. These look currently about 85% complete but I'm hoping those buckets are what I need. I know there's also some Lego in there but again I'm rolling the dice, I'm playing the game, let's see what we can find. I'm gonna be meeting with this guy in about an hour's time. Uh, yeah, wish me luck boys. Well, I'm gonna go meet the guy in all right, we gotta go find our cellar. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a prowler. So the phantom's down there. Oh yeah, I see the World of Warcraft. There's a cryo bay, and then a battlescape, and Mantis and Rhino. Yeah, there's a lot of pieces there. <laughs> a lot of pieces. All right, guys, up the hall. Box, suitcase and all. <laughs> Let's see if we can find somewhere dry to have a look at it. So in this main box, we've got a lot of just random stuff. I barely know what any of it is, but Tower of Ultimate Doom has assured me a lot of it is Transformers, like this Bumblebee. I mean, these are obviously Transformers here from Korea. We've got a Falcon, Banshee. Phantom, Seraph, uh, Battlescapes, Chopper, Mongoose, Prowler, a load of World of Warcraft, then an elephant, and so much more. This is a pretty incredible haul, to be honest, but there's just one problem. I've just unpacked a lot of it onto the table. There's actually a crazy amount of stuff here and a lot more sets than I actually originally anticipated. The problem is the seller forgot one of the boxes at his house. So most of the stuff is incomplete. Like we've got two pieces of a rhino, but nothing else. Like this is not good, this is DEFCON 1. I've started to message the seller. Hopefully he can come up with a solution. I'm not really sure what at this point because we're, we're left with half a haul. This, this is not good, guys. <laughs> we gotta find a solution. So this seems about right. <laughs> come all this way. I have a suitcase and a big box. Trying to look into the train station. One of the boxes is left in his car. I said I'd meet him today, but he says he's busy. I have his word that he's gonna ship it to Hopefully me. Hopefully he's a man of his word. Wish me luck, stay tuned.
Okay, welcome back everybody. A considerable amount of time has passed since the last time we were on this video series. Uh, I think about two months since I was last in Cardiff and I was uh, buying that a big lot. Which is kind of crazy. First of all, it took the guy about a month to ship the remaining stuff to me. I needed the remaining stuff because everything was like missing pieces because he literally left the box at home. It's finally here. And what better packaging for this box? Than, uh, than an Xbox One, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna open this, I, I peeked inside, I don't really know what's inside, but I did pull this out, which is kind of interesting. This is a really nice collector. The second I saw this, I knew I'd seen it before. This was part of the Nintendo Club. Basically, every time you bought a Nintendo product back in the day, you gained points on your account, and then you could exchange points for prizes. And this was the top prize for the Nintendo Club. So it was pretty cool seeing this, and I kind of don't want to sell it, but I mean, I will, because I have no space for it. And the greatest thing is the aftermarket value on this currently on eBay is the same, pretty much the exact same as what I paid for the entire lot. So I made my money back immediately. I mean, obviously, hotels and trains and food a little bit more but this was still a great random thing to find and it's actually worth quite a lot of money and then we got this xbox one box and actually behind me i'm recording this today uh the same day i'm actually just sorting a lot of this stuff so i was thinking about how i was going to do this and that's why the other month has passed by because i've had so many projects going on particularly the mega halo fan vote and Literally a billion other things. So I've, I've put it off, but I'm like, no, I gotta get it done today. So I'm about to open this box up and see what's inside. I think there's quite a lot of nice things. Ooh, there it is. Yeah, so pretty much one major item, which is the Broadsword Midnight Strike. That's not Broadsword Midnight Strike. Countdown. And I think it's probably like mostly complete. It's also funny because I just built one of these. Versus Snowbound set. When I did a live stream build of this Versus Snowbound that I got in the other haul, that one was missing 58 pieces. And then the live stream ended up diverging into me just trying to find 58 pieces in the attic, which I did successfully do. Another great item is the short sword. Surprisingly, this has not fallen apart. Maintained good structural integrity. They used to not be worth much of anything, but suddenly short swords are starting to be worth a little bit of money. So that is essentially what we've got in this box. A short sword, a countdown, and the versus snowbound. But I can also see random little bits from, say, the mantis. Yeah, definitely another few things. So I'm excited to get all this together. I think the next time you'll see me is in about a week's time when I've got everything organized and built and we can do a final haul display. See you then, folks. This is Loki, a wonderful thing. I have this and I'm trying to build it using the scraps from there and I just have the model right in front of me to just cross-reference constantly. It's like the perfect instruction manual. See, this is a big win. I just found this in this box. And that's not part of the Snowbound. It's actually the missing piece for this Phantom. So I'm really happy to see that because I would have not liked to try and replace all those smoothed off pieces. Now, the last thing I'm trying to figure out is where the other one of those is. It's not looking great, but I mean, hopefully it turns up somewhere. It's a beautiful, almost therapeutic thing sorting old Halo Mega Blocks. I got the weapons there. I've actually got quite a nice amount of these World of Warcraft figures and I've been quite pleasantly surprised how many of these sets are like 99% complete. And also, what do we have here? Ooh, la la la. Good afternoon everybody and welcome back. <laughs> I gotta tell you something, right? I've been sorting this stuff for the last three days. I am in disbelief that this is entirely, or, or almost entirely, 100% complete. This haul basically has close to everything. There are some weird anomalies, like there were two caterpillar tracks for a rhino, but no rhino. But in general, it's just been unbelievable that practically everything I got from that haul has been 99% complete, and I've been able to fill in the gaps with my own personal collection to make practically everything 100% complete. And you saw what this was originally like. This was a random couple of boxes that I got out of a guy's trunk in the capital of Wales. And that box was a shambles. Like it was just rubble. The one that got me the most, I didn't understand what they were from. They were complete 
original armory bays. Uh, like 100% complete. Because of the price of the hall and the fact that it was so jumbled together. He must have literally displayed this stuff, then put it in those boxes, let them crumble over years, and then just sold me a basically 100% complete collection. Like, this is wild. Let's break down exactly what we got from this haul. They are gorgeous. I love those figures. In addition to those snowbound armory packs, we have a load of random snowbound figures. They were just loose. Snowbound combat unit. One of the reasons I originally bought this whole haul was the snowbound battlescape with snowbound tower. The fact that this was only missing a few pieces that I was able to get out of my personal collection is awesome. For the rest, we're gonna start small and we're gonna build up to the big ticket item. This is one of the most iconic sets in my opinion and just a gorgeous reenactment of the beginning of Halo 4. Amazing. One of my other favorite dioramas, ODST Ambush. Just so scenic. I can hear Neon Knight playing over this right now. The original two Covenant drop pods with all those gorgeous paint apps. It's combat unit time. We got the original blue Covenant combat unit and UNSC green. These did take a few of my extra pieces, figures and weapons, but I wanted to cobble them together. The original Arctic combat unit, Crimson combat unit, and our first ever Honor Guard. How about the shade turret in all of its glory? That air assault was always one of my favorites. This doesn't come with the additional helmet, but still very nice. This red troop transport hog gains more and more material value by the day. Like this is becoming quite an expensive collectible. I'm here for it. Ooh, we're building up to the big ticket items, boys. We got the original Covenant Banshee. Well, not the original, but once they actually figured out how to design this thing, the original Original, original in the aerial ambush needed some work. Well, they got that. This set was not 100% complete, but the UNSC Spade is still a dope set. And the first introduction of George, but look, he looks like a little baby. And this is the only Spectra that's ever released, which is kind of surprising, but I really love that metallic purple. Prowler incoming. <laughs> the UNSC Mantis. It was pretty sad because when I bought this uh, in the bucket, the Mantis leg was snapped, and I was so surprised that I actually found a spare one in the attic. So I fixed him up good and proper. He even has his display piece and Spartan wire. And we have the Falcon coming in. This actually took the longest by far to fix, but I was quite surprised that I got this to 99% complete because I really thought this one was a lost cause. This is the bizarre one that I gotta show off. Let me lay it all down. I'm not all too familiar with World of Warcraft Mega, but I was so surprised when I had this complete in the box because I genuinely, I, I was finding random little bits of scrap and I was like, I have no idea what this is, and I googled the set, and I was like, well, there's no way it's gonna be complete. 100% complete between the three boxes, so an absolute miracle that this thing is standing. Two animals, or monsters, creatures. World of Warcraft fans will understand what this is, I don't really know. And then two flags of catapult and a whole array of minifigures. So, I mean, that's gonna make someone in my community very happy when I sell it to them. <laughs> okay, now we're on to the really big ticket items. Strap yourself in, guys. This one's, uh, this one's spicy. You wanna see short sword? It's just such a classic set, and it was so well distributed at the time that you can find these pretty much anywhere. They're not a crazy resale value online, but gosh, I've built at least 20 or 30 of these in my time, and I'm always happy to mwah, see one in the flesh. If you think about old Halo Mega Blocks, like what are the most valuable and the best old Halo Mega Blocks set? My mind immediately goes to three items in particular, the UNSC Elephant, the UNSC Countdown, and the Covenant Phantom. Woohoo! Look at that, baby. It's the Covenant Phantom. It looks so epic still, and this is starting to go for more and more and more online, which is exciting. The only thing that's changed is the fins at the back. One of them was missing. So I've actually designed an entirely new fin. This is not what it looks like on the final build. So I designed a full new fin and then replicated it, mirrored it across, and we've got this new, arguably better designed. I mean, it's much more bulky. I really enjoyed making something new. And apart from that, I think it is now 100% complete with the, you know, new fin. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without my Arbiter. Okay, what did I, what else did I mention there? Uh, the Unicy Countdown and the Elephant? Oh, what you look at You this. wanna see? Countdown, baby. This was 100% complete. Uh, it required no additional building from me. Here for the boys. That leaves one more set, and uh, is is there is there an echo chamber in here? Oh, oh, oh. The UNSC elephant. Pretty much the crown jewel of original Halo Mega Bloks collected. Well, I mean, the Ford Into Dawn is the crown jewel, and the well, the Scarab is the crown jewel of the Mega Constructs collecting, and the Ford Into Dawn is the crown jewel of the Mega Blocks collecting. But their signature build. This is the crown jewel of the original line. This was Mega's crowning achievement. This is basically, in my eyes, a signature build set in its own. The turrets are a slight modification. They're not on the original circular uh, pivot. And these, I do actually have all the spare pieces for these, the, the flat sections, and uh, they're sort of like long lines and then this like jutted out bit. I'll put a picture on the screen. I do have all the spare pieces, but 
They exist inside my new Mombasa diorama, and I refuse to take that apart. Mwah, chef's kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you what do you think of my haul? All that beautiful stuff uh, from a random Facebook Marketplace listing that has lasted about two months. And by the time I edit this and get the Facebook Marketplace sale up, it'll have been yeah about like two and a half months maybe. It's been a journey. It's not like I've been working on it the entire time, but I just I kept on taking breaks and then coming back to it. I put off doing it because I genuinely just. I, I thought it was just scrap, like, the, m the more I looked at it, I just got, like, anxious about it and I just put it in a drawer somewhere and just ignored it for a couple of months and grinded out all the YouTube projects. And I can't believe that when I finally came back to it, it was 99% complete. I gave it that last little 1% from all my spare pieces in the attic, but mainly, it was complete. And that was just so bizarre because it, everything about that listing screamed that it was not complete. So it was wonderful to see. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you very much for tuning into this haul. There's more on the floor there. That is part of my second haul where my, my family and I went to uh, a beach town called Morecambe and we picked up even more. That part will be coming out in about two days time. I think two days time exactly after this goes live. And after that goes live, I'll be selling 90% of this. So stay tuned, keep the bell on, and subscribe for more of all of this crazy madness. <laughs> you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And the domain is signing off. Really hope you enjoyed this crazy project. I'll see you in the next video.